Hello guys, good afternoon. This is the Teacher SP. Welcome back to my channel. So this afternoon, I will be sharing to you how to subtract fraction. Okay, so are you ready now? So, in, gusto nyo bang matuto ngayong hapon na ito on how to subtract fraction? So, do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and click the notification bell so that you will be able to up, uh, notify whatever videos I'm going to upload. Are you ready? I'm ready, and please keep watching until the end of this video. So, this afternoon, I will be sharing to you on how to subtract fraction. So last Saturday, I have discussed how to add fraction. So the similar and the similar fraction. So for our review, when we say similar fraction, these are the fractions that have the same denominator. So like for example, three fourths plus one fourth, right? And when we say the similar fraction, these are the fractions that have different denominators. So like for example, one half minus one third. So they are different. So this is a continuation. Next top topic is subtraction of fraction. So how are you going to subtract fraction? So subtraction of fraction. So first, I have an example here for the similar fraction. So when we say similar fraction, again, the meaning of this is these are the fractions with the same denominator. So like, for example, if I have here 5 over 6 minus 1 over 6. So they have the same denominator and the rule, what are you going to do is you have to copy only the denominator and subtract the numerator. So that is 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 over 6. So let us check. This 4 over 6, can we simplify this to lowest term? Can we divide 4 and 6? What number can we divide both 4 and 6? So that is equal to 2. So divide this by 2 and 2. Right? So 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2 over 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. So therefore, the simplified form of 4 over 6 is equal to 2 thirds. Did you get it? Okay. So let us proceed now for uh, num example number 2. If I'm going to give you this number. That is equal to 5 and 8 over 9 minus 3 over 9. So what have you noticed here? So this is what we call a mixed fraction. So this is a mixed fraction and this is a fraction. So when you are going to subtract a mixed fraction, and the other one, 3 over 9, there is no whole number there. So what are you going to do? You need only to subtract this, right? 8 minus 3, that is equal to 5 over 9. And there is a whole number there, so you are going to copy. So therefore, our answer is 5 and 5 over 9. Did you get it? Okay, so... Uh, can you try this if you are um, if you have your pen and paper handy with you you can solve this one so let you can you try this example number three number three that is equal to two and seven over three minus two over three can you do that so how are you going to do that so 7 minus 2, that is equal to 5 over 3. And you have to copy only the whole number. So that is equal to 2 and 5 thirds. So this is what we call subtracting a fraction with similar denominator. Okay? So next we have subtracting a dissimilar fraction. 
So, like for example, so when we say dissimilar fraction, let us define again. When we say dissimilar fraction, these are the fractions with different denominators. So, like for example, uh, number one is three-fourths minus one-half. Okay. So, what have you noticed that they have different denominator? So, what are we going to do is we have to get the LCD. By the way, what do you mean by LCD? So, that is what we call the least common denominator. So, first of all, we have to get the LCD, which is the least common denominator. So, 4 and 2, what will be our LCD? So, we have to choose between 4 and 2. So, the LCD is equal to 4. Why? Because 4 can be divided by 4. 4 can be divided by 2. You cannot choose 2 because 2 cannot be divided by 4. But 2 can be divided by 2. So, see to it that you have to choose a bigger number. Okay? So, let us proceed now for the process. So, look. 4 divided by 4, that is equal to 1. And after you have divide, you have to multiply. So, 1 times 3, that is equal to 3. Minus 4 divided by 2, that it is equal to 2 times 1, that is equal to 2. So, if we are going to simplify that, 3 minus 2, that is equal to 1 fourth. This is now in simplest form. Okay? So, this is now the answer. Okay? Did you get it? Now, let us proceed now to example number 2. So, that is equal to 7 over 8 minus 2 over 3. So, let us check now our denominator. The two denominator, denominators are 8 and 3, okay? So, let us analyze what will be our LCD. In our example number 1, we choose only between 4 and 2 because 4 can be divided by this number, both 4 and 2. But here, if you will choose 3, 3 cannot be divided by 8. If you will choose 8, 8 cannot be divided by uh, 3. So what are we going to do here in our uh, example number 2 is you need to multiply both denominator. Okay? So 8 times 3, that is equal to 24. So let us check. Can 24 can be divided by 8? Can 24 can be divided by 3? Let us check. Okay. Again, look. What is the process there? 24 divided by 8, that is equal to 3. And then you need to multiply it by 7, that is equal to 21. Minus 24 divided by 3, that is equal to 8. Times 2, that is equal to 16. Okay, so 21 minus 16 is equal to what? So that is equal to 5 over 24. So this is now the answer. Okay, so is it clear? Let us proceed now to example number 3. If I'm going to give you guys a dissimilar, uh, no, a the uh, mixed fraction and a fraction. Okay, let us check. So if I'm going to give you example, our example number three. So this is two and three over seven minus two thirds. Okay, there is a whole number and this one. So what will be our LCD there? Okay, 7 and 3, right? So the LCD will be 21. Okay, let us check. This whole number, hindi ito kasama later. Okay, now, 21 divided by 
7 that is equal to 3. Times 3 that is equal to 9. Minus 21 divided by 3 that is equal to 7 times 2 that is equal to 14. Okay, let us check now. Can 9 be subtracted by 14? It cannot be, right? So, let us analyze our equation. So, this 2, right? 2 and 3 over 7 minus 2 thirds. So, let us divide this 1. So, that will be, hahatiin mo yung 2. I, ano natin, hahati natin. So, ibig sabihin, that is 1 plus 1. We know that 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. So, this will be 2. So, you will be added by 3 over 7 minus 2 thirds. Okay? And then, 1 plus. Okay. 1. Since, let us check here. The denominator of this is 7. Anong number or anong fraction na ang denominator mo ay 7? Ano magiging numerator mo na magiging equal to 1? So, that will be 7. So, therefore, this 1 is 7 over 7 plus 3 over 7 minus 2 thirds. Okay, let us check now. Are they similar fraction? Diba? The rule says that if they have the same denominator, you are going to add only the numerator. So therefore, 1 plus 7 plus 3, that is equal to 10 over 7 minus 2 thirds. So this will be your whole number and we are going to subtract this 2, right? So, 10 over 7 minus 2 thirds. So, we have to get the least common denominator between the two fractions. So, therefore, the LCD will be 21. Sa natin kinuhang 21? We need to multiply 7 times 3 that is equal to 21, okay? And then, process. 21 divided by 7, that is equal to 3 times 10, that is equal to 30. Minus 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7 times 2, that is equal to 14. So this 1 will be your whole number, so that is 1, okay, 30 minus 14. So, that will be 16 over 21. So, this is now our answer. But let us check. Can we simplify 16 and 21? What will be the number that can be divided both 16 and 21? Diba? Wala. So, therefore, this is now our final answer that is in simplest form. Is it clear now, guys? Okay. Now, uh, I will give you a homework, right? So that you will be able to practice that. Dahil, you know, when you are studying mathematics, it doesn't mean that you have to memorize the formula. But without practice, wala kayong matutunan. Hindi nyo matutunan ang mathematics because mathematics, constant practice makes you a better person makes you a better student, right? So, for your homework, that I will be giving you homework even though you're at home. So, this is a preparation for you for your uh, online distance learning this coming August 24, right? So, for your homework, what are you going to do? You need to subtract this. So, I will be giving you um, exercises. So, that will be three and three-fourths minus one-third. And number two, that is equal to eight over seven minus two over three. So you have to practice that, okay? So 
guys i will end my lesson for today and uh i'm i'm hoping that you learned something and uh, i'm going to ask you a question did you enjoy we know class that uh we know guys that math is fun hindi natin masasabi na mahirap ang math but if you are enjoying you will if you are learning parang stress reliever yun eh di ba okay so okay ba tayo okay thank you so much and um well, I'll see you on the next videos of mine.